English opening, four knights, kingside fianchetto line, four, d5 5 dot cx d5 nx d5 6 dot bg2 nb6 7 dot oob7 8 dot a3. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. The middle game battle was fairly even. The players battled pretty evently in the end game. In the English opening, White plays c4 to take control of the d5 square without sacrificing a central piece. This is a more patient opening. e5 controls the d4 and f4 squares, and allows the queen and dark squared bishop to develop. The battle for the e4 square is launched by nc3 by attacking the d5 position. A knight is developed, the d5 square is under control, and the e4 square is attacked by nf6. In order to dominate the center from the long diagonal, g3 is getting ready to fianchetto the light squared bishop to g2. d5 takes space in the center, attacks the c4 pawn and allow the light squared bishop to develop. cx d5 captures the d5 pawn and controls the e6 and c6 squares. nx d5 recaptures the d5 pawn and centralizes the knight. Fianchetto move bg2 places the bishop on the long diagonal. NB6 retreats the attacked knight to a square where it controls the d5 and c4 squares. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. This defends the attacked pawn. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. This poses a threat to strike a knight. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This strikes a rival knight. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. This is the only good move. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. This defends the attacked pawn. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is the final book action. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. This wastes a chance to center a knight and give it more power over squares. It is incorrect. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. That's an unfortunate error. It is a mistake. This requires an outpost, a square that is currently in play where a pawn cannot push the knight off. That's good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. This develops a piece while also winning a tempo on a rook. It is good. The rook is now in a safe position. It is quite good. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It is incorrect. This can indicate that a pawn is being attacked. It is ideal. This threatens to attack a trapped rook. It is an inaccuracy. This is an equal trade. This stops the opponent from being able to attack a trapped rook. It is best. This displays a queen attack. It is ideal. This reveals an attack on a pawn. It is best. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. This would be a missed chance to maneuver a queen to safety. It is incorrect. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This displays a queen attack. It is quite good. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. This avoids the queen's check. It is quite good. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. 
it is ideal. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is good. There was just one smart move to be made. This misses a chance to trade pieces. It falls flat. This misses an opportunity to defend a pawn that was under attack. It is a miss. This misses a chance to pose a pawn winning threat. It falls flat. This misses a chance to strengthen a pawn's defenses. It is incorrect. This threatens to create a passed pawn. There was only one good move in that position. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is a mistake. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. This permits the opponent to kick a rook. It is an inaccuracy. The opposing rook is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. This is the only good move. This was a game-changing move, giving black a winning position. It is a great move. This protects an under-defended rook that is under attack. It is excellent. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is a mistake. Equality is within reach, but this move doesn't get there. This threatens to win a rook. There was only one good move there. This ignores an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is a miss. This confines the opponent's king while also moving a rook to the seventh rank, activating it. That's good. This poses a fork piece threat. It is incorrect. This threatens to activate a rook by getting it to the seventh rank. It is a miss. This misses the chance to get a more equal position. There was only one good move in that position. This ignores a better way to defend a pawn that was under attack. It is a miss. This steps away from the checking queen. This is the only good move. This was a game-changing move, giving black a winning position. It is a great move. This permits the opponent to create a passed pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This competes for the open file with the opposing rook. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. It is best. Backs off. It is quite good. This gains time by putting a queen in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is good. This misses the chance to move a queen to safety. It is incorrect. Backs off. Black is ahead at this point in the end game. It is ideal. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. A chance to advance a passed pawn towards promotion is lost in this. It is incorrect. As a result, the adversary may promote a passed pawn. It is incorrect. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. The middle game battle was fairly even. The players battled pretty evently in the end game. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. The middle game battle was fairly even. The players battled pretty evently in the end game.